Okay, for number eight, uh, we're going to need to combine all these together and solve for x. So in order to solve these log equations, what you have to do is first combine it all together into a single log, and then change from log form to exponential, and that's going to allow you to solve for x. So let's do that for this one. We're going to combine these together into a, a single log. So we're going to do log. First, I'm going to, I'm going to do these, these first two. There's a plus. So plus means that we're going to go back into multiplication when we're going the other direction by condensing this. So we're going to do x minus 6 times x minus 4. We still have the rest of it. And so the next step, we're going to combine these two logs together. Uh, the, the division of what we're going to use because we got a minus sign there. So we're going to do log 2 of x minus 6, x minus 4. And then we put the x down below because, again, minus turns into division when you're using that log rule. And we have equals 2. At this point, you want to change from log form into exponential. And you do that by taking the base, raised to the number after the equal sign, will equal all this. So we have the, the base, the 2. We're going to raise it to the number after the equal sign, raise it to a power of 2. And that's going to equal x minus 6, x minus 4, all over x. Uh, so the 2 squared, the 2 squared is equal to uh, 4. And so we'll do that next. So we're going to do 4 equals x minus 6, x minus 4, all over x. And we have to multiply both sides by x to clear out the fraction. So if we do that, we're going to get 4x is equal to x minus 6, x minus 4. Now at this point, you need to multiply this out and turn it into a quadratic equation, then we're going to set it equal to 0. So you can't just set each one equal to 4x, it doesn't work that way, it only works with 0. So at this point, we have to multiply the part after the equal sign. So we're going to do x squared, and we get minus 4, minus 6, minus 10x, and then we get plus 24. We want to subtract the 4x because we want to get it equal to 0. And when we do that, we get x squared minus 14x plus 24 equals 0. Uh, so at this point, we now want to factor. Okay, so we're looking for two factors that multiply to make 24 and add to be 14. And these are going to be 2 and 12. And we're going to make both of them negative. And we'll set uh, set these both equal to 0, and we're going to get two answers, x equals 2 and x is equal to 12. Now, whenever you get something like this, you always need to take these two numbers and go back into the original equation and make sure you don't get a negative number or a 0 inside the log. If we take 2, one of our answers, and put it back into this first one, we get log of a negative number, and we can't do that because uh, domain is only positive numbers. So the 2, we're going to cross out. So because uh, that one's not included, we're going to look at 12 now. Now 12 minus 6 is positive. 12 minus 4 is positive. And so because of that, that means that this one will be one of our answers. So 2 does not work. Again, so make sure for log equations, you always need to check your answers back into the original one to make sure these numbers fit the domain of a log.